Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here. Welcome back to another Dark Souls 3 Weapon Showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Follower Torch. Yes, it's time. I've never actually made a build centered around this, or used it, I mean, often at all in PvP. I think I tried it when the Ashes of Ariandel came out, but other than that, I haven't really utilized it at all. And its stat spread is very strange. Here, let me do this to not confuse you. These are my actual stats. So I checked out uh, Souls Planner and in game when I was reallocating uh, to maximize the damage of this weapon. And because it scales C and strength, obviously you get the most from strength, but it stops getting good return investments after 34 strength. If you go 35, you get no damage boost. And then if you go to 36, you get one uh, point of AR. So that's two points of investment for one AR. That's a terrible trade. You want to stop around there. Uh, dexterity is kind of weird. At the beginning of the scaling, it, it's terrible. It's like one damage per point. And then somewhere in the 20s, it starts getting two, sometimes one, sometimes three, and it jumps around all the way till like 46. It starts getting one point of damage return in the 40s. So I stopped at 46 as if I was using like a quality build, you know, 40, 40. But it's a little more optimized because 34 strength and 46 dex actually yielded more damage for this weapon. Now, I thought Int and Faith might be the better investment at first, so I just tested it. And you only get one point of damage per uh, two uh investment into the stat so if i go 11 11 faith and 11 in i only get one ar of damage not the best it, even if it does it does boost your fire damage by the one like that's where the one damage goes but uh one ar for two points of investment is always bad so it seems it's just better to upgrade the physical on the follower torch i was thinking it might boost the weapon art itself like give it more damage because it is a fire attack but i don't know by how much and you'd be losing out on quite a lot of physical if you tried to go that route. So it's it's weird. I decided to go this way with the stat spread. That's why it's so strange. Okay. <laughs> but other than that, the moveset's kind of similar to the mace. You get the, the two-handed swings. I'm really not sure on a typer armor compared to a hammer because it's a torch. <laughs> so I don't know if you'd be able to trade with what a mace could. I don't imagine so. I, I know it's R2 gets some hyper armor. I remember I traded some things in the past when I memed around with this just for fun. But I don't know its exact number, so I can't tell you what I could and can't trade with until I go fight the weapons in the arena, I guess. Um, it's a rolling attack. So it really is the same as the mace, actually. Yeah, it's got basically the same moveset. Other than the R2. The R2 is obviously very different. It's a thrust. Um, the running attack's the same. What about the one-handed? Basically the same as like the, the mace style. Yeah, other than the R2, because it's a thrust. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you get a one-hand thrust, though. I kind of expected you to just bat it forward, but that's good to know. Um, rolling light yeah even if you roll into the you go to the thrust okay i guess that's it and then the weapon art is what makes it really unique now i know the weapon art has quite a lot of hyper armor i don't think i've been interrupted when i tried that in the past but i'm imagining like an ultra a great hammer would stun you out of it but other than that uh maybe you'll be able to tank some things and go for the weapon art trade all right that's pretty much it let's go into the arena boys <laughs> all right jumping into our first fight with the torch well, follower torch, I guess. The torch is a different beast all its own. I need my FP. Der Let's Wolf. Hello, Der Let's Wolf. How are you? A wizard! A wizard against my followy torch. Dishonest wizard. Why does one always stay? Is it a visual glitch or is it actually there? I can't tell. <laughs> I hope he appreciates my memeing. Oh, I got him before the hyper armor. Or that, or he doesn't have enough poise to tank this. Take my fire, boy. 173. Oh, you rolled back into it. Second firing. Backstab. Oh, not a backstab. Fun fight. He almost got that parry, because I don't think this thing gets two R1 true combos. Because he was able to move. The stun on it's so bad from the R1, people roll up too quickly for the second one to follow up. Basically, it's an Elden Ring weapon. <laughs> Oh, we're right back here. Okay. Back into the... I gotta remember the name of this map. I actually don't remember. Keep wanting to say Demon Ruins. <laughs> Hello there. Ar Ar wait. Astoria. Hello, Astor Arstory. Astoria. Jesus. I can't read, apparently. Oh, no. Not Lightning Arrow. <laughs> Hang on. I got just the thing for you, sir. No. <laughs> Okay, well, oh, 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 I didn't know I was fat rolling with the shield. Oh, shit. Um. Um. Helmet. Yes. Okay. There we go. We're good. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, maybe hope a lightning arrow away. I would very much appreciate that. Ha ha! Oh, no butt stops. Smack. Smack. Take my torch. My tiki torch. Oh, shit. Oh, I was able to... Oh, I can roll out of that! Oh, my God! I just, like, rolled out of a reaction, and, you know, it. it's... <laughs> it worked! I almost just accepted my fate! <laughs> okay, I'm keeping the shield out. <laughs> That's what you get, Arstoria. That's what you get, dear. Dodge. <laughs> I can dodge out of that shit. <laughs> my, 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 my thing. Good trade, Chase. Good trade. Oh shit. I'm getting hit by that one though. <laughs> Good fight, Astoria. <laughs> Take my torch. God damn. All right. So, okay. I just gotta remember that if I fight someone and I need to switch shields, I like start heavy rolling. <laughs> All right. Moving on to our next round. Honestly, that faith fight was pretty funny. Oh yeah, I took off my stupid chime. Oof. Tears. I'm getting backstabbed. Oh no. A, li a lively fellow. Hello, Ishmael. How are you, man? How are you? Um, let me just grab this really quick. What the fuck? Backstab attempt. From where? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> He's on a journey, our lad. Alright. Face my torch. It's more manly than you would ever know. <laughs> Good trade on my part. Quite honestly. The curve saw a lap in its natural habitat, spacing too far away with its attempted with punishes from the great beyond. <laughs> a little laggy. Hyper armor trading. <laughs> it's better than you think, Mr. Ishmael. It is. That was the worst Gundir I've ever seen. And I've seen some Gundir swaps. <laughs> the Corvian next. Not the mighty Corvian. Fun fight, Ishmael. <laughs> this is the slowest Gundir swap. I appreciate the attempt, though. Jumping into our next round. Was that a wizard? It's got a wizard hat. It's not a wizard. <laughs> Maybe it is. It's a Lucy. You know, I like that name. Uh, the spelling's different, though. Hello, Lucy. How are you? <laughs> are you ready for some torch play, my dear? <laughs> oh, I never really noticed how much damage absorption that gives. That's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was trying to space out of it, but I kind of... I got clipped. Run into my fire, Lucy, my dear. I promise it's safe. I have hyper armor on my R2s. <laughs> you dare touch the R2 of the torch? <laughs> fun fight, Lucy. <laughs> Very fun fight. I didn't think the, the R2s could trade like that, though. Damn, they're like as fast as... They get the hyper armor fast, so I can trade with light weapons in the face. Interesting. Alright, moving on to our next one. And after last match, I think I'm going to use the R2s more than the R1, to be honest. Yeah, the R1 might have more range, but... Hello, sexy Dexy! Hey, man. How are you, dude? <laughs> the sexiest of the Dexiest. Alright. Coming at me with the torch. Looks like he's kind of fat rolling. Oh, he's super laggy though. Holy shit. What the hell hit him? Was it my R2? Because my R2... Oh my god, yeah, our latency is terrible. Holy shit, it's after the attack happens. 
Damn, I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that, to be honest. <laughs> he, like, he sees everything in, like, much later fashion. <laughs> it seems, anyway. Oh, yeah. He can do that because he doesn't get stunned. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be very careful going forward. He takes the stun so late. Alright, sexy Dexy. Or sexy Dex. I'm gonna have to be very careful, man, because, well, your range is unholy. Holy shit. It's just unheard of. Honestly. Woo. Woo. Alright, I got that going. Play it safe, play it safe. Everything I do with him is a trade, though, to be honest. I don't quite know how I can combat it. You can almost strafe my R1 and walk around it after it's happened. You know what I mean? I have to like predict when he's going to do a light and I can't punish it because our connection isn't there. So, um, I don't know. This poses a threat. Just because of our weapon matchup and our latency. Like, I, I just, I need to think. I need a little thinking time here. I need him to get baited into this maybe and then trade? That's a bad trade for me though, because his damage is, I think, higher, probably. And if I go for the weapon art, there's not much I can do. That would have hit me. I'm glad I dodged. I'm learning his, like, range at the very least, but everything else, everything else is a problem. <laughs> a pretty big problem, to be honest. I kind of want him to run through it and walk into it. Okay, that hit him, because I think he has to space pretty far too, which explains why he's staying really far away from my torch. <laughs> I think I need to hit him with the weapon art to win, that's like the only way. Whoop. Aw, oh, match over. Aw, oh, okay. Fun fight though, man. Fun fight. <laughs> Good, good, good job, good job. I couldn't do much because of our latency. I couldn't like punish the attacks, but we almost did it. We just needed more time. All right, jumping into our next match. That one was a long one, actually. But it's honestly a good fight, just minus the, the connection, that's all. We got spicy meat. Okay. <laughs> all right, flame build, is it? Um, spicy meat has black pyromancies. He has... What the heck? I mean, we both have interesting builds, at least. <laughs> what the hell is this? My favorite meme fight so far. He's all meme casts, and I'm obviously the memeiest weapon you've ever seen. <laughs> and neither of us has touched each other yet. <laughs> My torch versus your spicy meat. I got hit. I'm a loser. Black Flame. Maybe. No more casts. His entire build. Wait, what? Fake. Fake, fake cast. Oh, oh, oh. oh my. Oh, oh, oh. I did so much damage. What is this? What am I facing? <laughs> He must have the most ridiculous stats you've ever seen. I've never seen Life Hunt Scythe do so much damage. He's probably like, if you get hit by one of his pyromancies, you're dead. Like you're just straight up dead, dead. <laughs> oh, <holy shit. laughs> okay, I gotta admit, this is a funny fight. This is actually hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Spicy meat, man. I appreciate you from one meme user to another. My torch versus your half health steel scythe and uh, I don't know. I don't want to know how much damage his black flame would have did. Holy shit. All right, jumping into our next match. <laughs> that guy was my favorite so far. Wow, he is funny. Hello, sir. Uh, 
white, man, I swear. <laughs> PS5 controller and it's touchpad, dude. Sir Skiopia. Skiopa, Shopa. Everybody comes in after the first one because they think I won't do a second one. But guess what? I got more. <laughs> I got another. It's the only power this torch truly has, to be honest. It's not as bad as you'd think, honestly. Like, it, it lacks true combo potential. Is that a dagger? <laughs> Is that a fucking poison dagger? <laughs> One fight, though. That has a lot of hit frames, by the way. If you're in front of it, apparently it can hit someone who's quick stepping. <laughs> very good to know, very good to know. GG, though, man. Oh, back in this arena. Oh, and we got a witch. With the demon scar. Alright, we go anti-flame. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we need, uh, what's his name? Burger, Burger Blaster 69. <laughs> oh, and he's using kind of interesting pyros. A little bit, until you just fire us. Uh, fire surged. <laughs> he doesn't like my memeing. You dare, you dare touch me in my tralala. We dodge that. We dodge that here, Mr. Burger Blaster. <laughs> it's better than you think. <laughs> I have that too. I also can use torches. I can dodge. I can dodge if I wanna. I can dodge you from behind. If your friends don't dodge, and if they don't dodge, then they ain't no friends of mine. Oh, I thought I could trade that. Yeah, I can actually dodge out really quick. Mm, running attack. Where are we going, Burger Blaster? Huh. 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 <laughs> A little bit of passive regen against my torch. I have a shield on, so like mine's just already doing that, you know. Smack! I missed. <laughs> more heals, okay. My torch is threatening, boys. It's one of the more threatening weapons. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Demon Scar Boy. <laughs> it was fun playing with you. I have the better flame, though. All right, our last battle of the arena. Honestly, this went a lot better than I thought. This thing's damage is low, and its, it's weapon art is pretty easy to avoid, but we've actually been hitting some people with it. I have to say, it's... Oh, fuck. Hey, dude. <laughs> Zaliko of Truth. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not the magic shield. <laughs> Not it. I have to kind of outweigh it. Or I can go for the backstab. <laughs> okay, I need I need that thing to go away. Whoop. Whoop. I don't have a way to backstab this, so... <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I got eight damage off. Eight whole damage. There we go. I can hyper armor trade that one. <laughs> I'm not letting you recast that shit. <laughs> Hell no, brother. Hell no. That's already cancer enough. You don't need it times two. Everything's a trade with him, but it's okay.
How dare you run from the mighty torch? <laughs> Zaliko! You can't cower in the face of torchversity. Does he realize that he's losing HP? <laughs> Interesting fight. <laughs> A torch beat the turtle. Turtle torch. All right, into the invasion we go. And I thought, what better place with the follower torch than the place that has the followers, you know? I'll blend in with my people. Hello, Kaguya. Oh, it looks like he's summoning. Maybe I'm here just early. Hello. Feast your eyes upon my meager flame. <laughs> I don't think this has the hyper armor needed to trade into that, but... <laughs> Maybe we'll backstab it. <laughs> At least it has fast recovery. Nope. Does it, I think this has one of the worst backstab grab windows. Let's see. We can still do it on like the slower recovery animation ones, but... That's a decent wake up if they roll straight away. That's not too bad. Smack. Okay, I thought he was gonna roll, so I held it to roll catch, bud. No! Not that! <laughs> but the heels. I had no stamina, so I was actually locked into that. That's very good to know. <laughs> Tight enough that we got it. Maybe I'll throw on a hornet ring. Maybe that'll be the way I get her. Jumping attack! <laughs> I need more stamina. Come back here. I'm not sure what's more damaging, that or my uh, R2. <laughs> this is gonna take a while, boys. <laughs> it seems like they're very, very hard set on go. You know what? This might be the one time that I undead hunter charm someone. Once I get them to half health, because I have to capitalize and be able to finish it off, right? So... <laughs> you accept the torturing! <laughs> Very fun fight. Very fun. I'm glad I didn't have to use the Undead Hunter Charm. I'm okay with this. This is a well, a well enough end for the Follower Torch. Alright, those are all the battles that I have for you guys for today with the Follower Torch. I hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. I know I did. It was actually a lot of fun. Mostly because this thing's weapon art is good, and its R2 is actually pretty good. It doesn't really have range, but it can hyper armor trade for being pretty quick, so it's useful against really aggressive light weapons. At least, on the bright side. There's the stats on the right if you want to try it out the way I did. It seemed to do okay damage. It was like doing 140-ish, I think, on the average person, right? That's not amazing, but, I mean, hey, it's something for a torch. And the weapon art seemed to hit once or twice, if depending on if they rolled in towards you or away. And it, it did, like, around the same damage as well. So it wasn't too bad. Yeah, comment uh, other weapons below. We're, what, two days away from Elden Ring. Yeah, it is crazy. It is. Uh, I'll be streaming it on the 24th, because it launches uh, on PC that day. And we'll probably be live all day. But yeah, we have two more weapons to showcase before that. I'll probably come back one day and finish the weapons that I don't finish. Just just because. For a completion, it's sake. But after Elden Ring for quite some time. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. It was fun. 
goodbye and see you soon.